It's so crazy. Oh. <laughs> wow. Man. This is be fun, right? I'm so tired. I'm just jet lagged. Oh. I feel like we're gonna like bow our heads for prayers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually saw uh, Hereditary for the first time. Hereditary. Hereditary. <laughs> you got me now that I have to fucking say this shit. Right? Have you guys seen it? Nah, I, yes. I, I haven't seen it. I'll refuse to watch that movie. Dude, that shit was scary as fuck. <laughs> I didn't like it. I had to put on some <laughs> Wee Bear Bears after. <laughs> I was too scared. Wait. Did you get the lighter? I have a lighter. Haha. -ha. In my handy dandy uh, crochet oh. mushroom. Uh, yeah, here wow, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh. Uh, I wanted to add one of her songs, but I'll add it in the post. Please. <laughs> Please tell me you don't eat that garbage. Oh. <laughs> cut it out. Yeah, cut it out. Hey, don't. Listen, but listen, listen. <laughs> if we ain't getting that bread directly, we mm, ain't playing it. True. Wait, why? You're not proud of your song? Yeah, no. Nah. You want to make new stuff? Yeah, okay. I think this stuff I have released thus far, I'm kind of like, eh. But I feel like most, mm. like, that's just like some most, like, artist shit anyway. Mm. I feel like y'all, but also you hear it so much too. Like, learning that with, like, y'all and, like, Joey, you hear this shit so much. That I understand why you would hate this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to the friend. <laughs> Three, two, one. Welcome back to User Friendly, um, the friendliest podcast, podcast in the world. <laughs> in the goddamn world. <laughs> I am your host, Squared Hill. Pablo Trees. Rex. And it's Jason. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to another beautiful episode. Today we're accompanied by. How would you even describe her? <laughs> um, She's legendary. She's yeah, a, literally legendary. Uh, singer, a woman of many crafts. Crocheter. You know, <laughs> singer, crocheter. Uh, um, musician, artist. Everything. A friend. Beautiful woman. Wow, thank you. Um, let's give it up for Crystal Shy. Drop some bombs. Big bombs. Give me a few more bombs. Wow, I like your soundboard. Yeah. yeah. One more time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> great to have you Thank you. wow it's kind of crazy every time like i see you because it's like i know it wasn't that long since i've seen you but no it's been a hot minute yeah but still like i was looking at my camera i'm like well, low key was a hot uh, minute but the time yeah. goes so true, fast true, and everything true, true. yeah i feel like every time i see you like in person again it's just everything is kind of <laughs> like normal yeah but um i know I don't know. A lot has changed. It's yearly, right? We see you every year. Yeah, usually like yearly or bi yearly. Yeah. But uh, before we get into that, how was everybody's week? It was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was a cool week. Just chilling. Um, it was Valentine's Day this past week, you know, this past weekend. So um, All the lovers out there. All the lovers. Shout out to all the lovers, you know. Nah. Um, <laughs> yo. I just kidding. Valentine's Day massacre. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was cool. It was just, it was a very chill week, so. Yeah, back to back to the basics, you know, mm. back to working. Yeah. Uh, How my pockets are hurting. I've been oh. spending a lot of bread on my girl. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Nah, hey, but but it's worth, it's worth it. It's what worth it. What did you buy? Yeah. Uh, just a lot of gifts. I got a hotel for us this weekend, too, Aww. so it's going to be fun. That's sweet. Um, yeah. And then I got some stuff for my mom, for Lucas. I'm like, I'm like cute. Yeah, nice. Flowers and stuff. <laughs> what about you, Jason? How was your week? <laughs> Lonely motherfucker. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Damn. Coming in Damn. hot. Yeah, I don't know. It was, uh, it was all right. I just, I had a feeling I had to like shut off social media for a day on Valentine's just because mm. I see all this oh. bullshit. Wait, it really made you sad? Oh, what? you think it's Ooh. a facade? No, I. it it does make you feel a certain way for sure. Mm. Just because like everyone's like, oh, look at the love of my life. Oh, look at the love of my life. Oh, look at the love. It's yeah. like, okay, guys. Do you guys taste that on. salt? Do you guys taste that salt? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I just been working on stuff and, um, yeah, it's pretty much it. I, fis I fixed my brakes today with my dad on my car and it took four hours. Nice. Yeah, it was cool though. Did you guys bond? Like, was it like a nice bondage? Yeah, honestly, like, I don't, I'm not very, um, affectionate, but, you know, before I leave this time, I try to like hug my dad this time and stuff like that. He's like, so. Ew, what? Yeah, bro, he's like, oh, what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> 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 So yeah, that's good. It's nice. How's your Valentine's Day, Rex? <laughs> my Valentine's. 
with my wife. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's chill. Um, you honestly, guys are like completely honest. Eh? <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm um, broke as fuck too. So we usually go out to a nice dinner, but you gotta I stop just, using uh, that word. I'm sorry that I interrupted you. I just broke? hate that word, broke. broke. So we just gotta yeah. stop using that word, but we were, especially yeah. when we're talking on here too. You know what I'm saying? Just because we be mm. speaking out, like, and it, and it goes out into the world once we put it out. So you're just down, not down, just but low just like yeah, you fun. Know. Low on fun for sure. Right now. You want to lay over? Yeah, but um, no, it's cool. We we just chilled at the at the crib. I cooked us a nice dinner. Ugh. Nice. Um, has some Where's wine. Where's my dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. So it's good. It's chill. Um, and my week has been good. I've been working too, but I had a photo shoot. I did a shoot with Avocado actually. Nice. A few days ago. Oh yeah. Were you the model or? Were I was you... one of them. Oh. <laughs> I was one of them. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. You, hear her you were the main model. Just say that it's. A... <laughs> I, was, I was the model. <laughs> <laughs> no. Damn, that's funny. I actually had a shoot with uh, Maria. So, um, uh, sure. my girlfriend she booked the photo shoot for us. She wanted more pictures of us. Oh, that's nice. cute. So I'm looking forward to seeing how those came out. It's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> How was your week, Kristen? Uh, it was pretty <laughs> decent. I flew in last Saturday, so I'm a bit jet lagged, but mm. it was good. Got to see my mom and my grandma and my dog. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Did your dog freak out? I love seeing those videos. When yeah, they're... like, so every time I come through, she actually doesn't really like, she, she kind of makes it out to seem like she doesn't really remember me. She was like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. But then this time she was like, yeah, she Freaking. didn't go to my mom. She didn't go to my dad. Once we like went on like into the door, she just like straight up came to me and I was like, mm. Where was this the whole time? Yeah. It's pretty good. Nice. But was like, was she always your dog? But it was like, but. Yeah. So, okay. So I got her my last year. So I went on the show and then I flew back to Chicago to graduate, right? Because I only had a year left. So I came back for a year. And then the last year that I was here, I was like, I, I'm going to be lonely as fuck out there. So like, as a selfish as it is, I was like, let me get a dog. So then I got her, and then um, last minute, my mom, by the way, my mom was like, don't get a dog. Like, you don't need a dog. Dogs are, like, too much work. Like, you know, too much money, blah, blah, blah. So she was, like, against it, and then I got her. And then my mom, like, my mom and my dad fell in love with her, and they were like, but maybe you should just leave her here because she's probably going to be so lonely out there, like, when you go and, like, you know, work and stuff. So I was like, all right, yeah, because, like, both my brother and I had left at that point. So mm-hmm. left her here, and she just became their dog, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's how I feel about. I just I just got a new dog too. His name is Brownie. I've seen pictures. And my parents are pretty much. I mean, they take care of him a lot because I'm not home as much as I want to. Like I want to be. Mm. But um, yeah, my dad's like fed up. He's like, <laughs> leave him outside. <laughs> him no! outside so, it's all the dads. It's all the older dads, dads don't that care. Are always like that. Yeah. They're like, oh, they used to work on the farm. Like they they don't need to be in the house. Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. For the people that don't know, could you tell the people like? who you are or like what do you do yeah my name's crystal i'm a potato um, <laughs> <laughs> a I'm potato playing. flew around <laughs> yeah um my name's crystal my stage name is chai and i am a singer songwriter i was on a show had the privilege of being on this show in korea kind of like a american idol type of show mm-hmm. and then um somehow i won that was drop a, a bomb for winning right now <laughs> yeah. That yeah, was not the, somehow. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, I mean that. Yeah, one way or another, that happened, and got that opportunity under my belt, and uh, got signed to a label. Moved over there. I've been there for the past eight years. Now I'm doing shit independently. So wow, yeah. eight years. That shit is crazy. Yeah. Like when she, it's like to think it about. It happened so fast. Yeah, like I was. Wow. Yeah, I was like 23, 24 when I moved there. 2015. Yeah, now I'm about to be 30. <laughs> Damn. It's kind of crazy. No, <laughs> Kevin Hart, you kind of. I, I didn't. I didn't think it was eight years. Yeah, it's been about Dang. eight, yeah, seven, eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us about your life in Korea? I guess, and how it was when you first moved there, and then how uh-huh. you are now since it's been like you know eight yeah. years, and you're accustomed to it. So when I first moved there, like being a Korean American, like I didn't have many Korean friends growing up. Like the only Korean people I knew were at like my mom's church and family members pretty much because I didn't grow up in like a neighborhood that had like a high K-town, mm. like whatever. Um, so me going there, 
like seeing Korean people everywhere, Asian people everywhere in general, like, and I was talking to Jason about this in the car, but I was like, oh yeah, it was cool for like a day. And then I was like, <laughs> eh, okay, like, let me, like, where are my people of color at? You know, like, I don't know. It was a different experience. And then just with like cultural differences, it was just really crazy. Yeah. yeah. But now it's okay. I think actually I prefer living in Korea than America, which is weird to say, but just it's more comfortable. Out I was going to ask you that too. Like, would you ever, or would you consider moving back? No. Wow. <laughs> never? Yeah, I can firmly say, like, no. Just because, um, like I said, just overall comfort over there. Taxis are mad cheap. Like, you take a 15 mm. minute ride and it doesn't even come out to like 10 bucks, you know? Um, the only thing that's different, I think, is just like culturally uh like our mindsets are way different over here obviously so it's a little more mm -hmm. open-minded and then closed-minded over there but yeah there's there's a lot there's a lot but i think i've grown more accustomed to korean culture sure. yeah like in the past eight years there did you find like your <laughs> korean people that have similar mindset to you or so... did you have to like shift your own to kind of adapt i think i definitely changed and have become more like quote-unquote korean mm. mindset but um most of my friends over there are actually foreigners <laughs> yeah mm. i think the only korean korean friends that i have over there are the friends that i made through music oh, but true. other than that yeah like everyone that i like heavily fuck with they're all foreigners so so like from yeah America from different or, or, different parts oh, of the true. states and mm. then like i think i have one friend from australia but other than that mm. yeah it's pretty pretty much americans Mm. yeah when you left for the first time you were pretty sad yeah i was sad and i was lonely and you know like i was like how am i gonna what am i gonna why am i gonna you know like just yeah. all the questions mm. but it's like kind of when you move to a different state and you just get accustomed to like how things are but i think now i know where to get things you know like if i need something i know where to go if i need help i know who to ask like things like that so. mm -hmm. What was something that you missed from like Chicago when you were out there or when you are out there? I'm well, sure. I definitely miss um, tacos. Yeah, food, pizza. I think like just good food. Like, oh, so the food sucks. In no, no, no. Like the food, <laughs> food is absolutely fire over there. And like you're not going to get better Korean food than in Korea. Oh, and also it's like cheaper, like way cheaper. Mm. But I think what I missed was just like being around like-minded people obviously and then just seeing other races i don't know like that it really kind of gets to you <coughs> sometimes yeah i was yeah. telling the guys like when we were in japan um <laughs> there's really like no other mm -hmm. like yeah they're like all the <laughs> like all the well, other i don't know if you guys <laughs> basically we went to one of these buildings that had a lot of porn mm. and it was all like japanese ones. you said porn yeah oh so i was just kind of like i was like why why isn't there other like uh. And that's because you're in uh, Japan. Why yeah. were you looking? That's the question. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just joking. I'm not it. trying to get you. No. <laughs> He's a younger me. <laughs> I is this random, but I always watch like this um, one Korean YouTuber that eats like food from Korea all the time, like the, like mukbang. Yeah, but he always orders pizza, and it always he always makes it look really bad. I uh, don't. Yeah. Like the way he's eating it? Or no, like pizza? he's saying like this pizza is like mid. Ah, uh, well, okay. I will say pizza over there is like next level and not necessarily in the greatest way. Mm. Like they'll put on like the most like random toppings. Mm. Like they'll put on, like there's like this sweet potato pizza, but actually it's actually pretty good. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Um, they also have this like tiger shrimp pizza. It's Whoa. just like badass pizza with shrimp on it. Like it's zah. crazy. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's like, over the top, unnecessary, but yeah. it's like pretty good. But yeah. like when you just want some pepperoni. Yeah, thing. like I just want like a thin crust New York slice, you know, but there are places now. But when I first moved there, like it was hard for even to just to find like ingredients that I normally cook with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess I always wanted to know, like even like taking it back to you leaving. I remember you leaving and just like, I remember telling you like, yo, you're going to win that. You know what I'm saying? And not even just like, just me believing in you and mm -hmm. just like hearing you just like, even work with uh, Jose, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. like before that, but just knowing you as a person, I'm just like, I'm hyping up my homie. I'm just like, yo, I give out to win it. Damn so man. I guess even like taking it back to when you actually won yeah. the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, what were you thinking? Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. I don't know, was it the point where you were like, damn, I have this? In a, not like in a bad, like in, in a, bag, yeah. not like in a brash way, but like mm -hmm. a damn, like I got this. 
I mean, like, I went and I, like, tried and I auditioned and I made it. And then um, they were like, well, okay, first I said no because I'm not really, at that time, I wasn't really heavily, like, connected to Korean culture. I wasn't watching Korean dramas, didn't really listen to Korean music. So I was like, I don't know why would I go. But then they, like, sweetened the pot and they were like, we'll fly you out round trip. Like, mm. open open yeah, round trip ooh. ticket. Yeah, and I was like, fuck it. Why not? Yeah. yeah, so then I was like, all right, cool. So then I went, made the auditions, and then... um. I, yeah, I went and I didn't think I was going to make it even past the first auditions just because, like, you get to see and hear, like, the people before you. And they were, like, really good. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, like, y'all for real about this. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, like, for me, like, it wasn't ever, like, a this is my dream. Like, this is my passion. And, like, I'm really grateful for the opportunity, but I think it kind of mm, took me a little off course. But I guess all for the better got a really good opportunity out of it so it takes you off course to like put you like yeah. back on course yeah you know what i'm saying so sometimes even like the things you like i mean we haven't i don't know things like things we like we still want to do we're doing we're designing like obviously we're doing stuff you know what i'm saying like you're singing but not like as as much as you like but mm -hmm. i don't know some shit like kind of takes you off to the path or like where you're supposed to go like mm -hmm. sometimes you start here but then you're really supposed to end up right here yeah, so exactly. it's all a part of your life too so i feel like it's like a very like crazy moment that we kind of like i feel like we kind of like spoke that shit into existence like we like mm. told you you're gonna do that shit and you went over there and did it you know what i'm yeah, saying and i don't know you, do you remember like y'all like your like audition song like what you saying yeah i think i sang a uh, sam smith song so yeah it was a pretty interesting experience altogether mm. but yeah so you said it wasn't your passion though yeah like, i mean like not... it was something that i was doing on the side but it wasn't like uh this is my ultimate goal because um just growing up like and i'm sure like a lot of people can relate but my my mom never encouraged me to like do that it was mm. just like you need to make money you need to find a job that's gonna like give you money and give you stability so i understand you know coming from a mom's perspective so yeah it was always just like do it as a hobby do it as a hobby so i did it as a hobby and then it became a thing and it was actually really interesting to see her uh, shift in support oh. and mindset when I won on a Korean show. I think mm. if I had won on an American show, it would have been way different. She'd been like, so what? You know, like it's still not sufficient, you know? It's like more traditional. Yeah, right? but because there were so many like of her Korean friends and like our family members that were like hyping it up, like what, like she won this show? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like she was like, oh, okay, maybe it will be okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it goes back to uh, I said this on another episode, but I feel like our parents just want to brag about us. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? And you know, so rightfully so. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. But if music wasn't your passion, what what is your passion? Or uh, art? Yeah, I think just like I knew I wanted to do something in like the creative field, but mm -hmm. I never like at the time I didn't know what it was. Um, so, cause yeah, I was like a junior in college when they reached out so yeah. at that point i was just like trying to graduate with like whatever it was i remember your amazing exhibit yeah fucking yeah you crazy you know, <laughs> yeah i hate hot glue and chopsticks like, <laughs> i get like, traumatized every time i touch chopsticks now okay. i feel like on the show like i didn't really get to watch the show that much i think mm -hmm. i watched like one episode mm -hmm. were there things like in the background that were like very different from what was like aired and stuff and i guess is there stuff you can talk about about it? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I mean, I will say that based on the things that I have experienced, now when I watch a TV show, like any mm. show that's like not um, like a rea like a that's not like what you know happened? like a series, mm. if it's like a with real people and like mm -hmm. real events or whatever, my mind automatically goes to like, oh, that was probably scripted. Oh, yeah. I see. So um, for me, there was nothing specifically minus like they told us that we needed to diet. Yes. Yeah, so, like yeah. there's things I, like yeah, that, you know, like, like just culture. culturally, like, yeah, there's like a lot of uh, those aesthetic things that they want to fix about you. Um, another thing that comes to mind is they for one of the episodes, they put us in like a partner kind of like situation. Um, and they kind of took me to the side and they were like, hey, like we strongly suggest that <laughs> we strongly suggest that you like pick this person. And uh, I was like, I don't even know who that is. Like I didn't I've uh, never heard him saying like, why mm. would I pick, you know, <laughs> but ended up being really a great guy. Mm. Um, yeah. So I, I was like, oh, OK, I see why they they strongly. Yeah, suggest. I see why they guide you in this direction. Mm. 
Um, but yeah, there's stuff like that. It's yeah, you know, TV's they always say you scripted. better do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So even with that, like, you never had a uh, stage fright, or no, you were just always able to perform. And I'm sure Rex knows from the UIC days, but like. I had a lot of stage fright to the point where I was performing with my phone out, like looking at lyrics, oh, okay. you know, yeah. like, I mean, not that we were trying to be professional or anything back in college, but um, yeah. So like, I was just always afraid that I would even, it doesn't matter how well I knew the song. I was like, the moment I go on stage, I feel like I'm just gonna like forget. So I always mm. would have my phone singing, looking at my phone. And so like, I think that kind of helped, but um, in terms of stage fright, like the show, I think we sang in front of like the most that we sang in front of was maybe like a hundred thousand people. Holy it was like a lot. Yeah, yeah. it was a lot, lot of people. Lot of people. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of people. But the thing is, like with those big stages, the lights are so bright you can't yeah, really see true. anybody. Yeah. So is it something like you usually like put your focus in? I mean, because I guess that even like with the phone now, that's just a matter of like confidence too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like building your self esteem. Is it like something you put your your focus into? Like when you. Who's? Is that your, is yeah, that your who's lady? Yeah, uh, who's uh, calling you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Should I answer it? <laughs> Let me answer it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, stage fright is a real thing. And yeah. I feel like every artist kind of really goes through it. Um, everybody handles it differently. Like for me, <laughs> back in the UIC days, I would like just take a couple of shots before going on stage. <laughs> and that would like help. That That's how I feel help. about this pod. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Wait, so 100,000 people. That's crazy. And that's not like counting all the people at home watching. Or shit. Yeah. So yeah. now you're good. You could do it in front of a million. Well, I mean, I'm kind of rusty. I haven't like uh, been okay. on a stage in a minute. But I think what would help is like i don't know if it's because like i'm a gemini or whatever <laughs> <laughs> but um like there's kind of like a work switch that turns on fire and like for interviews yeah. for like when you're meeting a fan like randomly on the street like i could just be like oh, fuck my life fuck this shit and then instantly like a fan comes and i'm like hi you know like <laughs> mm -hmm. you just turn on that switch and i think like it just becomes a habit and sometimes it's not good because it's hard to turn off sometimes so then you just get exhausted. So are you like, are True. you are you commonly pointed out in Korea? Are you Not anymore, especially because I've like changed my hair so many times. Mm. Like I look at my camera roll and like every other fucking month, <laughs> I'm like, who are you? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a minute. And because there's so many TV shows and like so many competition shows on, in Korea, like you get your spotlight and like it could be gone in like a week. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of wanted to ask about that because I feel like when I watch a lot of Korean like shows like even like the rapping shows like i always come back to show me the money show me show the money because uh -huh. i would yeah i don't know why because you want to be a rapper uh i am a rapper <laughs> just kidding. Bye. He's not kidding. No, uh, yeah like they there's always like returning um contestants that mm -hmm. have won shows and all the time the comeback mm -hmm. yeah and i don't know like how did it feel to win and then like afterwards kind of like figure out what you have to do mm. Um, so after I won, I got signed to one of the labels and mm. the three judges, they each have big labels, right? Oh, okay, yeah. So then I got the opportunity to sign with one and it was a little bit different in my case because I had to go back to school right after I won. Uh, uh, well, I didn't have to, but I chose to because mm -hmm. it was just one year and I just didn't want to like, you know? Yeah. Um, so then that's, I feel like I should have just stayed and worked on music right away mm. because of the turnaround rate like you can get forgotten like real quick so within that even within that one year like i lost that traction and i should have just like gone with it you know mm. but yeah but so it was, happened for a reason and i'm sure like, yeah yeah you wouldn't have wanted yeah to be in that industry in that's true it. yeah um, it's kind of crazy how everything just works out how it's supposed to mm. um yeah, and I feel like I always think, like, if you've done it once, you could always do it again, in a sense. Uh, I don't know about that. No, you can. I mean, you can, but would you want to? That's the question. Sure. Yeah. Maybe the way you wanted to. Like, how you say you think of it differently now, like, maybe you wouldn't want it to, but, like, even, like, being able to, I don't know, consult and mm. be, like, a voice, mm. like, where, like, people can, like, have a better chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. better opportunities or something. Like, yeah, you can yeah. always do something like that, but... On even writing, like you can, you're always, you yeah. can always do that. You can always get paid for your pen. Yeah, you know I mean, saying? I like that's what I've been doing the past year. I've been teaching, so I took like uh, a break from music because I just needed to like get my pockets right. Um, so I started teaching English out of school. <laughs> 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 I 
I started teaching English out of school and like that shit actually like is really decent money for like not actually going to school for to be a teacher or like whatever, mm. right? Mm. Um, so stack my money up and then within that this past year I've also been like writing for people which is like whether it's top lining or writing lyrics and like that pays way more than writing your own song like you know Whoa, like yeah crazy. so I was like fuck that I'm gonna <laughs> like you know but um yeah it's been an interesting past year yeah that's awesome though I feel like um you guys have done the audition for The Voice together mm -hmm. a long time ago mm-hmm and then you've also Who? Rex, Rex and I. Yeah. Rex and oh shit! And then you guys mm -hmm. also you've also opened for Daniel Caesar before. Mm -hmm. Fire! Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I really love Daniel <coughs> Caesar. How, right. how was that experience in all those? Uh, I think it was. I I will say like after winning the show, it was weird to be. Um, like approached a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I saw you on TV, like oh, stuff like that. But along, so that part, I, I don't, and even now, like I don't really know how I feel about it, but the good things that came from that are the opportunities that come to your doorstep, you know, like would you like mm -hmm. to open for this person or like mm -hmm. things like that. And um, because I had just won and I still wasn't used to it, I was like, me? <laughs> you want me? Or like, like the voice acting. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I yeah, so it. it was it was it was cool. Um, still can't wrap my head around it, but yeah. That's awesome. Mm. How was your <laughs> my experience? Yeah, with the voice and so you guys. Yeah, you so guys like stood in line and like waited. Mm. Did you yeah. sing together? You saw you saw you sang together? Uh, no, but we like we're in the same room. Okay. Um, but I mean, I didn't win anything. So, <laughs> well, I will say she did ask me if I had another song, and I was. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit, that means like yeah, you know, they were interested. They want to hear more. <laughs> what did yeah, you say? Exactly. But then I was not ready for the second song <laughs> at all. And I just kind of like sang some random song and I just felt so shitty afterwards. Oh. I was like, damn, I missed my chance. Nah. No. Yeah, you could do it. You can yeah. always do it again. Yeah. The thing with that is like you, you again, might always but... be known as the voice guy though. Like I feel like there's a lot of competitions that like yeah. I only know of them because of the competition. Mm. I don't know them because of their skill. So it's like right. maybe you wouldn't want that. But that's is that in the case of good or bad though? Like I, I think it's not. I mean, I guess it depends what you want from your career. Like, do you want to? Because you can see somebody singing on the bitch and be like, "Wow, that was the person who sang." Didn't Kaylani terribly. win some shit? And she's like, she went on there, but she didn't win. Oh, true. But I don't think I don't think it like it hinders you. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, listen mm. to the winners, so that's all I'm saying. Mm. Like, to be honest, I mean, I mean, I when it comes down to it, it's just about the music, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, Crystal won, so. I mean, so I will say, just from my perspective, that it's definitely it's a step in the doorway, but it's definitely there are limitations. For example, mm. like um, people that are. Like, my fans from the show, they're not fans of me. Like, me, me. They're right. fans of that version that they mm. saw who was not Chai. Like, that was, like, Yi Su Jung, my Korean mm. name, you know? But it gets, like, really funny sometimes when, like, some old heads that watch the TV show will be like, oh, my God, I'm such a fan of yours. And then I'm like, oh, thank you so much, you know? And then they're like, what's your name again? Oh, my God. You know? Oh, so it's like so. there's, there's like, a lot of those kind of things. Like, there, that's why I think, in my opinion, it's a limitation to be yeah. a winner. Because, yeah. Yeah, it's like it doesn't matter if you win. Like, for example, like, out of the people that won from the show that I was on, the people that actually made it, like, one of only, like, one of the winners actually, like, made it, made it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, people that didn't win are like really big now. So mm -hmm. like I will say, especially like the girl that um got second place, her and I are still tight and she's like, yeah, she's like doing her thing. What's her name? That's awesome. Anya, shout out to you. Shout out to drop a bomb for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess it depends like how you want to be seen mm. because do you want to be known as like your work or you like your own person? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But for the people that don't know me and Crystal, and squared we met through uh jose franco's studio shout sessions out joey. shout out joey um that was yeah like 2014 right yeah, and then was... we all became cool wow known you for about a decade mm -hmm. it's crazy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it sounds better when you say decade <laughs> Wait, it's okay we can round up we can that's round longer. Up. Yeah. It sounds, it what's wild. after a decade what's more than that shit two decades two decades yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> And we always get, we always like find a way to like 
find our way back to each mm. other. Um, but like, how do you manage, I guess, like friend time and like family time? Because I, yeah, we're all busy. I mean, I, I think like coming back home and I, like, again, I was telling Jason this on the ride here, but um, a month coming back is not enough. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. I like time wise, like it's long, you know, a month, but I already have, I already have like everything scheduled out until March 13th, which is when I leave. Yeah. And so like trying to balance family and all that, it's difficult. It, and I think that it's difficult no matter where you are, even if you're like living right next door, you know, because like me time is so important. And Do you schedule that in? I, I actually schedule in me nice. time. Yeah. Like w <laughs> when I'm here and even when I'm in Korea. So I'm sometimes sure. like, and this is like where I have a problem. I'll kind of be like, oh yeah, like, yeah, let's hang out. And then I get to that day <laughs> and I'm like, shit i do not want to hang out <laughs> but my friends are like thankfully very understanding of that so it's difficult mm. trying to balance this out so would you consider yourself a send-off <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'll i'll own up to it hey, yeah, I, ain't gonna lie. yeah. Like, I mean you haven't done it to us you are what you are i'm not perfect either uh, yeah, yeah i mean i think that's off. my flaw but i think within my friend group because we are all like different but say like similar in the same way so like for example i'm the send off but my friend like won't text back until the day of mm, or the like text off yeah the text off and so we have those little trades so i think my friends are a little understanding i hope so i'm sorry yeah i think with shit like that i just like a heads up at least because like oh no yeah like I, i'll yeah, give a heads up that's good yeah I actually just had a situation where I was supposed to do a collab with an artist and they ended up canceling like super last minute. Say yes. their name. <laughs> I'd rather not. Drop a bomb. Not Drop a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's crazy, but I'm getting kind of hungry. and. Uh, I see you got an Apple Watch. Do you know yeah. what time it is? It's game time. <laughs> it's no. snack time. It's snack time. Oh, Very it's close. It's snack time. It's snack time. We can make it. Yeah. Oh. It's snack time. Snack time. Yeah, yeah. It's snack time. Yeah, we make songs here too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just snack, kidding. Snack, I'm sorry. Snack, I didn't snack, mean to laugh snack, that hard. <laughs> when uh, when you said it's hard for me to wrap around wrap wrap around this, I was like, oh, Jason can rap. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I was gonna. I was gonna actually say because you make a rap about wrapping your mind about wrapping exactly. and wrapping your mind. <laughs> hey, we're gonna stop right there. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for the listeners at home, we have pet e key pet petiki petiki petiki. I was like, uh, <laughs> this is a <laughs> snack from like Slovakia. I, I don't know what Slovakia, this is, but. Um, One more time, please. I did not know where that is. <laughs> Don't choke. Don't choke. <laughs> Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Slovakia. <laughs> yeah, you said it right. Nice. That was good. Czechoslovakia. Um, so this is the part of the show where we rate snacks sponsored? from one to ten. Not yet. Not, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> season three. Season three. All right. <gasps> this is actually. This is actually the season 50. finale. Yeah, this is the season finale. Episode oh, fifty. What an honor. Yeah. We're happy to have you here. Cheers. Like, like, <laughs> three, two, one. Mmm. <laughs> All right. It was good. Petit Kai? Petit Ki. Shout out to the Slovakians. <laughs> no, I'm crazy. It was good. Mmm. Perfect balance between chocolate and cookie. What I feel like... I'll right give it now. a... It reminds me of a girl style cookie. Right now, especially. Which one? Um, <laughs> just like a, um, not even like a specific one. It's just like that, like type of like. Uh, okay. type of you know what I mean? I can imagine yeah. I'm serving one like a little smaller, but mm, okay. Um, mm. I give it like a eight and a half. I fuck with them. Yeah, I give it eight out of ten. Eight point five out of ten. Well, <laughs> I give it an eight. Yeah, I'm a. I'm with Pablo on this one. Eight point five. Mm. I feel like. You could just use this as a s'more. Mm. Like you don't need the no, chocolate. Mm -hmm. You just need the marshmallow. Mm. Save you some money. <laughs> Savings. Or go mm. crazy. No, I already touched that. I might as well go. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what is this man doing? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I like end up eating all the snacks anyways. <laughs> <laughs> like afterwards, yeah. I feel like, you know, like K-pop has been really going Poppin'? crazy. You said what? Popping. Yeah. K-pop wow. is popping, you know? <laughs> Um, I guess as another fellow artist in Korea and you're singing and everything, 
like how do you feel about that scene i guess because over here no one really knows anything we're just like oh my god this is amazing we know mm. blackpink blackpink yeah in your area in your area right yeah <laughs> um i think it was interesting being in korea mm. seeing them make their way and like pop off in the states and that kind of like in a way gave me hope when i wanted to be that big mm. i was like what i'm next you know? <laughs> But yeah, that made way because like growing up, you never really saw. And you know, this is like a everybody says this, but like I didn't see, I didn't, really didn't see like people like me on TV or like on the radio or anything. Yeah. I think the closest I got was maybe like Janae, and that's like you know, she's not even Korean. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think being able to see like Blackpink, BTS, like um, it's it was really cool to see and it's really interesting seeing like my personal friends who aren't korean be like can you buy me this bts thing like in korea <laughs> i'm like what for why and, like the fandom part of it i don't think i can understand mm. but i think um yeah it's just really cool to see korean artists like do their thing here not only just k-pop but like uh movies and stuff you know like parasite oh, yeah. parasite really popped off and then yeah, just a lot of other cool things. Loki, I almost asked you for an autograph for someone. Damn. I I like, nah. Drop a name. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. Is your mom? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> do you guys? Uh, do you want to take credit for the movement though? Like it was you that said it all. I don't want to say it, but yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think I need to. I think like the people that know really know. Um, do you feel like speaking of performers um, that oh, has sorry, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> do you feel like that has ever like influenced the way you make music at all or do you feel like you stay pretty true to yourself the whole time mm, great question mm, yeah. um i think when i first went over there so uh i feel like if any korean people see this they might get a little upset but i'm upset i'm gonna live my life um i will say like korea not only ideolo ideologically a little bit like a few years back like behind but i think also like music wise what i noticed personally is that unless you're a really big name you can't do new shit like you can't do like things that haven't been done before or things that haven't been done in korea at least you know so for example like when i first went to korea daniel caesar was like the new craze right so I was like, oh, I want to actually make some stuff in that style, like in that genre, um, just to like open up my genre. Um, but they were like, yeah, nah. And then Daniel Caesar popped off in Korea. And then they were like, what? <laughs> and I was like, bro, I literally like, you know, so stuff like that. Um, yeah. I think in terms of that, I wasn't able to stay true to myself because in that ever growing fast paced industry, you need to do what is hot, you know? And so what I want to do is just some, like, lazy, like, real true shit. But I can't do that because that doesn't make no money. Mm -hmm. I see. It's like the constant mm -hmm. conflict that we have with you. Like, like. Yeah, I think every artist, no matter what um, medium, is just, like, what's the new, what, what's going to, like, you know. Yeah. Speaking of performances, uh, did you guys see the Rihanna Super Bowl film? <laughs> yes. yes. It was great. The only thing that mattered. It no, the game good. was good, low-key. No, the game I was amazing, it, yeah. bro. That it was, was a really, game. really good game. Um, shout out to Pamela Holmes. My youngin', you know? But I like the I like Philly too, so all around it was cool, you know. Um, but yeah, Rihanna killed it, man. I don't yeah, know. I feel like people be expecting like too much of like of you know what I'm saying? Like of somebody and somebody else. Like this is like still Rihanna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So regardless. Oh. And she's pregnant. For that sure. Was that was the big like, thing. Right? That. That was but it was big like reveal. even with that, but it's like what I don't know what people. I think like, a lot of people expected her to bring out somebody, and yeah, and, that's and it was the baby. <laughs> yeah, <they're right. laughs> but she ain't need to. I think it was just. I think it was perfect as it was. Like you usually get a double performance or a triple performance during a Super Bowl. So if it to be like just her, just like her, her to have yeah. like that moment was cool. Like, I just looked at it. Like she was securing in the bag. Like to be honest, but that show was for free though. You don't get paid. For that. <laughs> no way. You don't get paid for yeah. Super Bowl, bro. Yeah, well, she's securing for your own, like really yeah value so stuff. that's like rock nation and all them they doing that but yeah if super bowl is like a free performance it's just like like they just ask you so yeah just, the dancers 
No, nah, like the performance. Uh, I mean, so all Rihanna this has to like, pay the dancers. Rock Nation got. I mean, shit. Rock Nation. They pay all that shit. Yeah. What? Damn. Is that but yeah, facts? yeah. That's crazy. It's like usually like you know because usually it's like for the biggest artists at that time. So like, mm. um, do you guys think it was like a Kanye tribute? I feel like. I, I don't you think it was, vibe. but I think it's you can't get away from like yay. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think it's like Yeah. And it's like some of her biggest hits, so you can't get away from it. So I don't think it was like a this yeah. is for Kanye, but That's what I liked about it. Yeah, he's just there, like, shit. He 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 always gonna be there. You can't cancel him. It was, it was just crazy because I, I was just reading like a random like Facebook thing and like every single thing about Rihanna was like all these old white people on Facebook were like, This is the worst halftime Big show man. ever. Yeah. Oh, wow. Why 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 was she when's the next country singer and who is that and you know what i'm saying they go mm. they go white it up next year it's okay they go have, have to even it out they didn't yeah. give us like three years in a row people like performing like minority snooping yeah. like you know what i'm saying Dre and, you know, they go have to like they go have to you know mellow it out a little bit they could do so. like a reggaeton artist i feel like jay Baldwin or like bad bunny would be crazy too i think yeah. i don't know who is a white artist that could really do that though Gwen Stefani. I'm sorry. Go I'm sorry. Swift. Yeah. Oh, oh true. Taylor, yeah, yeah, why haven't they? She go watch. They go. I'm telling you, they go mellow it out. They go be like, all right, we didn't gave y'all. Yeah. Jay Z go be like, all right, you know, I gotta make them happy too. <laughs> <laughs> He's in charge of that. Oh wow, I did not know that. That's super crazy. Or Crystal, you can perform at yeah. the Super Bowl. Or nah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did I you guys watch any good movies lately? I tried good to watch movies. the Ashton Kutcher movie. What? It was like oh. on Netflix. Yeah, I tried to watch it. It was. Cool. I started. Like, I fell it, was, yeah. it, it looked like the movie he did before in the past, like this No String or Friends with Benefits or whatever. Yeah, but it wasn't about that though. Like uh, it wasn't like. It's, it's kind of crazy seeing him older too. It's like like. It's like, not a rom com. It's a rom com. It has a. Reese Witherspoon? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you guys all watch it on Valentine's Day? <laughs> no, yeah. you salt ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they didn't finish it. it Speaking wasn't. of Ashton, though, have you guys watched the new... The 90s show? Yeah, the oh, 90s yeah. show. Yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. What did you think of it? I just had it in the back while I was, like, crocheting, but it was, like, pretty decent, and it's not like I wouldn't be like, what, I'm never watching this again, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It was nice seeing all of them, like, Topher mm-hmm. and all of them. Yeah, just like pop out. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was cool. It was just like new, mm. but it was like you know, Good the one. real ones know. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, me, me and Pablo, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, we watched that Mario movie. Oh yeah, it was what? a really old one though. It's like super old. And the it's one like that Colby action. was talking about. Not like the, the live not the not the new one that's supposed to come out now. Like Mario Kart, Mario. Um, no, it was yeah, long, it's yeah. like with real people, and they. Uh, what the dick? When did that happen? It's like a live action. Yeah, yeah long ass time crazy. ago. This is a. This is one of the movies. If you like, if you're at home like sick, you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> if you at home like that, it's just one of the movies you see. I saw that shit like so many times. Like, just like I don't know. It was one of the things you kind of forget about until somebody brings it up. I've seen it so many times. But I used to just watch a lot of TV, like too I much. TV. The effects were so funny. I love seeing like the home like. Mm. Low production stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited for the new one though. The new one looks really good. Yeah, they just it's dropped like, like a animated. really cool trailer. What about for it? the voice? What about Chris, Chris Pratt? Pratt? Yeah, Chris Pratt. Oh. I mean, everybody was waiting for it to be like that, you know? But then oh. he was like, Whoa, what is this? Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah he you didn't watch the accent. trailer? Uh, and yet you're excited <laughs> for it. Uh, come correct, sir, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, this is turned into the grilling Jason. <laughs> sorry, Jason was nice enough to bring me all the way out here from the burbs. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm about to leave you here. <laughs> That's fine with me. Friendly, friendly podcast. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. They have, we actually have a Mario Kart tournament. Oh, shit. At the end of the month. <gasps> Damn. February 25th. February 25th. Uh, 72. Damn. 33 St. Louis. <laughs> I was going to come and smoke y'all. You said you had your month planned out already. I know. That's why I can't come because I already know what I'm doing then. Busy, busy. Yeah. Before about before we talk about this random thing that's been happening, have you guys heard on the news before, like the balloons that have been in our space of the United States or whatever? Nope. No? I feel like during the performance, there was like a bunch of UFOs that got shot down, right? Well, shit, even no. the aliens trying to see me. <laughs> yeah. Like people are saying like it they don't really know what it is, but it's most likely a like literally just a balloon. 
And it's crazy to think because oh, yeah. it's crazy to think because they literally shot it down with like a two hundred million dollar missile from a jet. Jesus Christ! And they did four of them. <laughs> wow! So it's like, you know, what I'm saying something random kind of flew flew over, and they just. But were those actually up. accounted for, like the missiles, or like are they? Is the government just not to like sound like you yeah. know, but is the government actually like being like, let, let me, we can show you. We actually shot these. No one's saying anything about it. That's the thing. Um, but they. But what I've been hearing is they have shot missiles at it, mm -hmm. and it's just gone now. Show so me. It's just weird. Show me the proof. I don't okay. believe it. Okay. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a trip to uh, wherever. Yeah. Where are we going, yeah. Jason? <laughs> <laughs> but we have some questions from you know your fans and stuff. I guess. Okay. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Um, I feel like one of. A good question would be, how can we best support you right now? <laughs> Wait, that makes me yeah. so like happy. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> wow. I don't even. Wow. I was gonna expect like, why did you leave it? Like, you know. Have, <laughs> aww. Um, <laughs> we could ask those too. I'm yeah, just kidding. I'm just, I'm just uh, <laughs> um. Damn. I think just you know, just you even asking that is way like way more than i would have expected um i think maybe just be being patient because i haven't put out my own music in a while but i'm definitely going to get back into it um on top of like writing for other people so i think they can look forward to that as well um yeah damn oh, yeah I've, so I've i've been actually waiting for an album too <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't uh -huh. worry, Jason. It's coming. Okay. All right, all right, bet, bet, bet. I feel like we're like so used to trying to find extra ways of getting money. Mm. Like aside from the music, you also yeah. crochet, right? Yeah. How has that journey been? Like? Um, I have had like a hard time deciding if I like want to really go into it, you know? Because I'm like, I crochet for fun, and the moment you do something for money, like business, business, like that's when it like gets taken away. I think mm -hmm. that's my relationship with music as well. Is like it used to be an outlet and a stress reliever, and now it's just like, how do I capitalize on this? You know. Um, so yeah, crocheting has been really fun. I'm surprised that there have been many people that like are actually buying my shit. You know, which is really cool. So yeah, it's fine. It's quality. <laughs> I, I actually forgot to tell this during my week, but um, like around five years ago, maybe less, I used to be really broke, right? And we we're not saying that we're no more. I was, <laughs> low, I was low on funds and I used to donate plasma to get like $50. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if anyone's ever done I this. Like I have. College, you right? have? Yeah, I have. I Let's have. go. <laughs> plasma posse. We've been. <laughs> nah, the crazy part was like, I was down bad. You feel me? Like some of the like the homies was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but it was all in like whatever. You know, everybody's young. But I, the crazy part of it was, I went one day. Mm -hmm. I went with like one of my homies, and uh, I saw like a family friend. You know what I'm saying? Like him all. <clears throat> he actually passed. You know what I'm saying? But great guy. This is like my cousin's best friend. Mm -hmm. Like I looked up to him. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was like younger, like they're just like you know like, overly fly. You know what I'm saying? Like they put me on like everything, and um. He was like an alcoholic, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like very bad. Like I saw this shit. Like he'll come to the crib, and he's like one of the like people he just come in like in the crib. But he's always been like that. Just come in the crib, like mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying, make himself comfortable. Like his name was Cedric, you know what I'm saying? That was my guy. Um, but he was just like a very bad. Like it was bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like seeing that shit and like happening where you had to like when we when he came where we had to like put up the like the liquor and like mm -hmm. do shit like that. Mm -hmm. um, like I saw him there one day. Like I saw him there the same day I was there, and I was like. Mm -hmm. Like, God instantly was like, yo, like, get out of here. So I, I left. You know what I'm saying? But I never did it. You know what I'm saying? But I went that day and I saw that shit and I was like, I never said anything to Cedric. Like, I was like, you know what I'm saying? But I, like, I continued yeah. to see him after yeah, that. Like, that was, like, journey. my dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Um, but I just never, like, that was the, the reason I never did it. Like, yeah. I stepped yeah. out and I'm like, nah, that's yeah. cool. Well, but, I did it a few times. And um, the funny thing is, a while ago, I had seen, I don't know if I got an email or I saw something online where the company that, Oh no, I got a letter that they got sued. So anybody who donated plasma is entitled to like some money. So <laughs> I like Damn. I signed up or whatever and I got my check like two days ago. Damn. <laughs> so I got even more paid. Recently? Like, you just got it? Shame. I just got it like two days ago. Wow. So I just wow. got some bread. Oh, and I was shit. just like, the damn. Universe I, looking I, out I I'm going to tell the guys, I don't even think they knew about it. <laughs> just out on some bread. <laughs> no, yeah. So like, I guess for the people that don't know, mm. maybe you could 
get in on this money that, like, <laughs> they're suing yeah. the company for but then it makes me think like damn could i have died or like what well, were yeah, they doing were wrong they, they took they your plasma. Well, plasma if you think about that... it like i don't know for the people that have they're done making it, pablo clones so what, <laughs> what plasma is it, like it separates the blood from your plasma and they have to drain your blood yeah. And I remember there was a few times that the needle was like looking crooked. And I was just like, damn. That shit hurts. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's not like donating blood at all. Like, it's like, I mean, it, it's it is, but it yeah. hurts. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But that's something that happened during the week. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we have another question. Yes. What is your favorite DIY hobby? I guess, like, Ooh. you know, besides, you know, crocheting, because we know. I actually have been really into like macrame and pretty much just to like simplify it. You take like uh, this like rope kind of thing and you make knots mm. and then it makes a pattern. So you can make like hammocks, you can make, which is what I've been doing. It you sounds can like crochet. Make, yeah, it, <laughs> pretty much, but it's with your hands. So um, how did you like get into that? Was it just like something you. Honestly, like, and I thought about it today, like really shout out to Mama Kim because like she really put me on. I think my mom has just been like a DIY hustler like for her whole life. Mm. Um, so she just growing up, I always saw her like making things and she was never like, a if I wanted, I can go buy it type of gal just because like we were low on funds. So she always just like made do with what she had. So seeing her like make all these things, I think it kind of like spilled into me. And so that's how I started with like DIYing. But with macrame, um, I think because it's just simple with your hands, you just need the rope pretty much. And so... I think that would be my favorite. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I want to say thank you for coming on here. Thank you. We missed you. Me. Yeah, I missed you guys too. It's been uh, far too long. Yeah. Uh, Shall we, we bow our heads any for prayer? Any user <laughs> Do we have any questions for us? Or? Yeah. Um, hmm. I have a question for you guys. Yeah, please. Um. How has it been? So it's 40 episodes, you guys said? 50. 50. Yeah, yeah, number 50. Yeah. What's your biggest takeaway from 50 episodes, consistent episodes? Shit. Is there anything you would do differently? Mm. Um, something that you really appreciate about each other? You know yeah, what I, I really we're... appreciate is that we at least are here every time and mm. we're doing it. We show up. Because, you know, I don't know. I feel like me and Rex have tried this other times too. <laughs> I don't know it's just always kind of like yeah i always kind of like not gonna lie i'm always really tired on wednesdays and i'm kind of dreading the day even like trying to like make outlines and stuff i'm just like damn but when i come here and we're like going through it it's actually like a really good part of the day because mm. you get to spend time with friends and you know, people we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. So do you guys want me to replace Jason? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You got to move back here for that. Uh, Zoom. We can do it on Zoom. <laughs> oh, just put a laptop Zoom. right here and I'll just <laughs> <laughs> like here on Zoom. Yeah, I think uh, we learned a lot about each other yeah, yeah. these <laughs> past two seasons. And we get frustrated sometimes. But mm. I think a lot of it comes from that, like the production side of it. Like if we could just show up and just do our thing and somebody else handled everything else <laughs> like, mm. that'd be so much easier but like the actual setup and all that stuff it's difficult but yeah we're trying to upgrade the space so we're gonna do something else for the next season gonna cool. cut some wood paint some walls <laughs> make some tables that's so aggressive <laughs> screw some screws yeah. cute um i don't know my biggest takeaway is just like yeah like you said it's just like i was just like showing up it's like one of the it's become one of the most consistent things i've ever done like in my life yeah and um, i'm proud like to say it too you know so um for where i know like where we started to i like the sounds you know sounds and like the um yeah we keep upgrading you know say sounds in the fucking like recordings and everything and shout just like rex. yeah shout out to rex <laughs> like for everything but like where it started from and where it is now to like i don't know and yeah. we're almost at a year too so yep. right after this season three going into season three about to make a year um, so I don't know. It's cool. It's cool to like learn more about some like people like you or like Rex. I've like I've never like really I knew but I didn't know yeah. prior to this, you know what I'm saying? So and then to bring people that we know and all know together, you know what I'm saying? It's like a very special thing. So even when we're talking to somebody maybe we've never met, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's all like a it's all like a different experience. So for like the better or worse, like I'm um I'm like proud to be a part of this. So 
Yeah, Don't cool. cry, Jason. <laughs> Jason. Cool. What about you, Rex? What do you think? Man, I mean, I agree with everything that you all said. <laughs> hey, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> no, but I mean, I think my biggest takeaway is just like, you know, I, I feel like I don't really talk to a lot of people. Mm. Uh, it's hard for me to meet new people too. Yeah. And I mean, luckily, you know, when we were doing like speakeasy and stuff, like Jason reached out to you, you guys and I got to meet you initially then, but then to like be asked to come to be a part of this, like, you know, it made me excited and it was just cool getting to know you guys. And oh, I mean, I'm already really yeah. close with Jason. So 50 weeks together. Imagine Crazy. 500. Wait, so it's been like consistent. <laughs> consistent. It hasn't stopped. No, yeah. breaks. no breaks. Even when we don't post, we still record. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. that's the, the cool thing about us like we really take it serious like, i think so. like yeah you guys really need to take a moment to like take a beat to really like take that in because that's that's hard to do you know so shout out to you guys shout out to user-friendly podcast the friendliest podcast yeah. <laughs> Ooh, jump yeah. a for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel like this is like the longest relationship i've ever had <laughs> damn kidding, drop kidding. a bomb circle it back so. <laughs> drop a bomb <laughs> Um, wow. But where can they find you and like where can they look up your work if um, they would love to? You know? Find me on the street. No, I'm just <laughs> um, on Instagram, it's chai underscore underscore baby. I don't know if it's two or three underscores. Uh, YouTube, it's chai's corner. <laughs> and uh, what, what, what can we only find on fans that? is what? Oh. I'm just <laughs> um, on YouTube you can find covers I up, like uploaded a couple of vlogs but um, I'm actually gonna I quit my job to come here <laughs> to come to, to user friendly podcast <laughs> yeah <laughs> you change so, lives every day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna try to get back into the YouTube gang uh, the game and then just see what gang I'm, sorry you game. will you Ma. will yeah, and Manifesto. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pop off. Hell yeah, man. for sure. Man, I like the fest. Wait, do you guys have a favorite moment from season two? Hmm, dude. I, honestly, I feel like every time we do this podcast, like it just goes by so quick, and there's so much that happens. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. But <sighs> what? I don't know. <laughs> it's yeah. like I only have recollection of the last episode, and I just got super sure. fried with Hiram. Yeah. So was that was a great episode. Season two. Halloween, yeah, because we did the Gengar, mm. the Cheers. Pokemon. Yo, yeah, a- actually, like actually, the 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 tortilla slap that we never <laughs> really put out, but that shit was so you guys funny. Did that? Yeah, tortilla that shit was slap. so funny. Damn. We usually do like friendly challenges. Can I give you another challenge? Please. Uh, yeah. So I think it's on TikTok. Um, you know how TikTok has those like wild uh, dances. T- Filters. Oh, okay, okay. The wild filters. There's this one challenge that's been like going on in Korea where you put water in your mouth, kind of like the tortilla challenge, mm-hmm. and then um, you turn on like a random filter, and then the first person to laugh obviously got to spew out their water, and then like you could turn it into a drinking game or whatever. I mean, minus Jason. But <laughs> yeah, like that shit has been funny as fuck to watch. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Next episode. Yeah, that sounds fun. I'll send you a All video right, for a reference. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My favorite episode. I was trying to think of uh, all our guests. We've had so many. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. Many. I'm right here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Am I the first guest, though, that everybody knows? Or is there mm. another guest that was here that everybody knew? We've had a couple. Gilberto. Okay, no, oh, no, no, that's not true. No, wait, because, like 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 yeah, you guys actually know each other. Yeah, I feel like you are more so the first you yeah. know, person that we all know. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, what an honor. Yeah, this is my favorite episode of season two. <gasps> Don't say that. People get jealous. <laughs> um, mm. Mm. <laughs> all of them, especially yeah. this one though. But all yeah. of them though, you know what I mean? Like, um, it's just us getting better. I feel like just listening back and just like hearing everything. Um, mm. it's better than the like, like, like episode. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's come a long way from it. So, oh yeah, all the episodes. I, are my favorite I remember episodes. that. Yeah. <laughs> like when we all first started yeah we kept saying like i mean we still say it yeah. i, just, like, I mean the it. next challenge would say would be to not say go crazy or like oh crazy that's crazy mm-hmm. <laughs> that's papa i said that no yeah. you said that too uh, 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 so really? uh, yeah. that's crazy but i like i like shy on this pod <laughs> sorry yeah i'm here to roast <laughs> not to make friends um 
one more question we have is there a song that you guys all know the words to you guys better say my song or else i'm leaving right now <laughs> i'm just playing yeah color you <gasps> wait yeah. i know you're lying but thank you no nah, but i love this song though. <laughs> <laughs> thank you oh, thank you I don't think I have a song. I can't even I say my song. Yeah, you have to because like, you auditioned, right? So yeah, like, you but, know songs by yeah, but I blacked out. That doesn't count. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Mm. It's funny. Oh, the funniest songs that yeah, you know I the know. words to. Like, <laughs> I know. There's so lot. many. Buy your dreams. Yeah, I'm sure Rex knows a lot. What's your number one go-to karaoke song that you just don't even need to look at the screen because you know the lyrics too? That was a better way to wear that question. So <laughs> I'll be available to <laughs> start. <laughs> Yeah, what's your song? <laughs> um, I feel like I always go to Bob Marley. Uh, mm -hmm. Turn your lights down low. Mm -hmm. Or like... Classic. Yeah, any of them, honestly. Jason? Well, actually, we loaded it up on the... Um, on the board right now, you can say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I would die. I would melt right here. I actually have a really hard time remembering any lyrics of any song. Mm. For some reason. Because I, I think I just listened to like... Just like the melody and like the, the production, yeah, like a little bit more. But you know, like when it comes on, sometimes I could I know a few words, you know, here yeah, and there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Cool. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta listen to more Frank before Coachella. No, yeah, for sure. Frank Ocean. Dude. I saw I Frank. Them, I told them they you saw Frank. Eat. Where? At Panorama, New York. I almost died. <laughs> how, how long was that ago? That was 2017. Maybe? Crazy. Yeah. Is that when you it's brought up that pit? Okay. No, that wasn't when uh, he brought out Bad Pit. Yeah, but the like, oh, oh, I need to tell you guys. So in Korea over Halloween, like something really tragic happened where there was like a really small alleyway and people got like trampled and like, oh, yeah, that shit was crazy. Anyways, ever since then, they've been like PC PSAing like how to protect yourself in those situations. So I'm gonna let y'all know because you guys are going to Coachella and a Frank concert mm -hmm. is crazy. You just have to put your arms in front of you like this so that at least there's a little bit of like segue between like your heart and your mm. other people's bodies so that way if you guys do topple over at least you can like kind of mm. leave that space so keep that in mind and all you folks watching at home yeah. <laughs> perfect i'm actually not yeah. going but oh. i tried to test them. do it anyways I tried do to it test them with like lyrics ah uh, fail lyrics, all of them mm. and all of them like now you know like, you know, <laughs> hey, hey, it like we're ending this podcast. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it was a bad thing, but it was like a little slight one. It was like, yeah. uh, I was like, stay home, it. give me your ticket. And, you yeah. know, I'm like, yo, they gotta fight me. Somebody gotta mm. fight me for this ticket. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, tell Frank Ocean yourself. <laughs> um, there are these two people in the crowd. They don't know your lyrics. Send them home. <laughs> Send them home. No, everybody, we all love Frank. So yeah, you know, I'll give him a pass. I might be there. Who knows? Ooh, speak it into existence. We'll see. I'll be so mad if you get VIP or something. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, Brighton. He's be like, who? I just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I, just, I, just, I don't know how I got back up to the back here. <laughs> oh, right, shit. Guys, thank you for listening to another yeah. spectacular episode. Thank you for episode. coming. Yeah, thanks thank for, for having coming. me. All the way from Korea. Yeah. One of the best singers I know. Oh, you lie. Yeah, no. Yeah. What about you? Anyways. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have a crush. Yeah, you're What's in pick. Uh, oh, okay. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> where can they follow you guys? Squared Hill everywhere. Pablo Trees, some places. <laughs> uh Please follow us at User Friendly Podcast, mm -hmm. and uh, please follow Crystal at Chai. Chai Big Daddy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, chai underscore underscore baby. Might be two or three underscores. That's good. Another one. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Now we're going. Spread them crab legs. Crab, 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 crab. Crack it, crack it, crack it. Spread them crab legs. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, aw, oh, I forgot. Some bangs. So remember how I? Oh, okay. So remember how I asked you guys like, do you want initials or flowers? Oh yeah. Okay, cancel that. Forget that happened. Okay, because I tried it. It was way too hard. It was way too hard. So 
I made you guys one of one mushrooms. Wow. wow. They look yeah. a little chody, but once you put in a... <laughs> <laughs> once you put in chapstick... What, what are you trying to say? Once you put in so chapstick much. or a lighter... Thank you so much. Nobody wow. has that color. Wow. So, nobody has that color. Wow. Um, spring collection. Whoa. Spring color. Sweet movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just Put your lighter in and you'll never lose it again. Clean <laughs> that shit. There you go. Wow, this is that's crazy. Amazing. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm? Oh, oh. Fire. Have you ever been on a pod? Uh two. Oh, look off. Where are they? Um, one is online. I don't know the other one. So who's this guy though? For the thing. He follows you? They follow you. Hello, clear view. Now it's open. Is someone on that side? I see me. I see now. <coughs> We're gonna add this to the episode too. Okay. I arrived a little late. But you know. Tell them what we're doing today, man. Today we were shooting uh, the <laughs> podcast with Crystal, the Korean pop star, that asked us some tough questions. Uh, so yeah, you know, nice. That's what's happening. Um, life abundantly, living it. You gonna get some crab? Oh yeah, we're going to, oh yeah, we're going to dinner. Going to um, our annual. Yeah, is it annual? It's been annual. annual yeah, it's, it's been it's been annual for the last Yo, few you years. You gotta film it when he gets chicken wings. Bro. You're getting chicken wings. Get chicken wings. What? I fuck around with some chicken wings too. Seafood. Some tenders. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I'm getting crab. I haven't had steak out right now. Yeah. I've been craving crab. It's been a while. I heard the price of crab went up. Really? Uh, everything went up. Yes. <laughs> 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 I love it. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, you can't see it. So it does work out? Yeah. Is that good? Is that good? Maybe we could get an appetizer instead. Sometimes I catch myself being this. If I want it, I'm going to see it. I think we need a couple more minutes. Any appetizers? Could you explain the shrimp deal more? Buy two pounds of shrimp. So you just need two, so would that be a full? It has to be full power. Okay. Any appetizers? Yeah, Can I get some calamari? Oh, Anything else? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, that parmesan and cheese melts in like this. Look at this glove. Challenge you to a duel. I guess no one's back. Alright, for the people that don't know, we usually do a yearly crab dinner when Crystal comes into town. So today is extra special because we got our boy Jason and Rex joining us. We got the usual suspects, Squirt Hill and Matthew Silva. We got the garlic noodles today. And garlic noodles. The crab is here. Crystal is on a business call, but she's coming back. Wow. I might get some garlic noodles. They look crazy, but I'll keep it up here. You know who it is. It's your boy. We're eating crab today. You have to record my Christmas. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna zoom in on this wing, Brighton. Look at that wing. Good lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. This is the uh, garlic guy. No, garlic. Uh, Asiago garlic. Asiago garlic. Bro. Okay. Okay. My hands were dirty. Oh. Uh, I got some candids and some regular. <laughs> How's the food? 
I don't know, I only had like three bites. Oh. <laughs> You're not hungry? No, I just... Because it's cold. No, I just didn't want to keep everybody up. <laughs> this place has good music. So what do you guys give the out of 10? Man, that was pretty good, but the lady was kind of crazy. Critic can never give a 10. So I give a 9. Yeah. I give it a 9. That's the best crab spot yeah, I've ever been to. I feel like every time we go to better and better crab spots. <laughs>